Hello, my name is Keith Hill and I'm an Automation Engineer at the Automation Technologies Department at OMRON. In this video, I will be showing you the OMRON Safety Services demo, going over the technologies it uses, and then highlighting its features, typical applications, and how the technologies can create a broad range of safety solutions for any industry. I'll also go over some of the key benefits it provides and the key differentiators that separate it from other solutions. First of all, I'd like to point out our Roman Safety Services demo features our broad range of safety technologies, which include our G9SP. We have a enabling switch, two-handed touch buttons. We have our OS32C light scanner have a couple of various different door switches. And then we also have our light curtain, which is our F3SG SR light curtain, as well as a safety mat. These technologies combine to illustrate how you can safeguard your machine with industrial leading safety technology that provides an additional layer of security that a machine needs. A typical application for safety solution systems like this can be anything deemed to have the need for machine safety for the protection of the operators and equipment, which means that any manufacturing environment and industry will benefit from these solutions. From food and beverage packaging to automotive, Omron offers safety solutions covering all stages of the manufacturing process. In addition to this, Omron provides a wide range of safety technologies with an IP69 rating. For the food and beverage packaging industry, these safety technologies can help protect certain areas around packaging machines, beverage filling, or creating product areas, or any application where there is fast movement, potential for crushing, cutting, and also pinching hazards. In such vertical markets as meat cutting, slicing, or baking industry that has high temperatures. What I'd like to do now is demonstrate our F3SG SR light curtain. Presently we have the, the emitter here which goes and sends a light beam or multiple light beams out to this mirror. It will then bounce off of this mirror and then come back to the receiver. If for any reason that I go in and I block that beam, it will automatically go and shut the machine down, providing a safe condition. Along with the F3SG safety light curtain, we do have what we ha call the intelligent tap. The intelligent tap allows you to go and uh, download programs to multiple light curtains. So if you're like an OEM and you have a machines that you're making that are consistent of each other, you can go in, set up the settings into the intelligent tap, and then upload those settings to the light curtain. You can then take that ITAP and move it to several machines and just sit there and upload to each one of the light curtains to program them if you have them programmed in a special way. Next, what I would like to do is go and demonstrate our uh, safety mat. It is our UM safety mat, and basically of a safety mat is you would put this on the floor in the point of where a, a safety condition is, and that if anybody goes and puts enough force onto the, like, uh, the safety mat, like standing on it, that will also then go and shut down the machine. The third thing that we have on the uh, demo here is our scanner. It's our OS32C scanner. The scanner itself has a 270 degree range that it can go and detect if someone walks into its range or not. What you can do is, is you can also program that. So right now we have it programmed so that that light beam is physically going to the dimension of our cage here. So that if I do block it, it will then go in and stop the machine as well putting it into a safe state. The next thing I'd like to go and demonstrate is our mechanical uh, key switch, which is our D4SL type product. What it has on there is it does have a stationary 
key switch which is mounted to the rigid portion of the frame. It then also has a key that is mounted on to the door itself. So if the door is opened up, that key disengages from the, the mounted switch, thus that will go and shut down the machine. If you then go and close the door, the door then goes, the key goes and there, inserts back into the switch, and then you can go and reset the machine to start it back up again. The next item I'd like to go and demonstrate is our E4G, which is our enabling switch. The switch basically has three positions that it can be operated in. It's either a release position, a holding state, or an actual, um, the third state is like a grab state. What this basically does allow you to do is, is you would use this in like a robotic application. So when it's in a relaxed state or a fully squeezed state, it will then stop the machine. But if you go in and you hold it in a half state, it will then allow you or enable the ability to go and run certain portions of the machine that have, are deemed safe to be able to run while someone is close to the machine, uh, to the hazard. So that's one nice thing about this. You can also get this switch with a uh, emergency stop push button on it as well. I'd also like to show you a couple new products that we have coming out with Omron. One of them is our F3SG SR light curtain. This light curtain is in a IP69K uh, housing, so it can be used in a packaging or food industry. The next item I'd like to go and show is, is we do now also have an IP69K emergency stop. This is our A22NE series, and you can see that it does have a uh, protective booting around it. It is only available in push in and pull out. The next item I'd like to go and demonstrate is our two hand control. You'll notice that on each side of the enclosure we have a push button. These are a uh, capacitive type button, so there is no pressing force that you need to put to the buttons. It's just physically your hand gets close enough to it. You'll notice that we have these tied to this door. So if I go in and I actuate them and I release it too soon, it will stop the machine. If I then go and hold them in until the, the complete movement of the door, then it allows the machine to keep running. I can then go and use the switches to also bring it up. So basically having the two switches here prevents me from putting my hand into the pinch point area when operating. The next item I'd like to go and demonstrate is our CM series non-contact door switches. This is one part of it and then the next part is up here on the movable item. So you would have one on the stationary side and one on a movable side. When the door is closed, you'll notice that those two switches go and align themselves. That alignment is important because there's magnets inside of that switch that are coated. And as long as those magnets match, then the uh, line up properly, then you can go and restart the machine. If for any reason that you go and open up that door, it does not see the magnet anymore, it will then shut your machine down. The last item I'd like to go and show you is our D4SL locking door switch. The door switch itself is in a locked state at this uh, point. Typically on the machine you would have some type of a button, whether it be on a touch screen or a physical button, that you would push to gain access or request access into the cell. Once the machine is in a, uh, in a safe condition, it will then unlock the guard door, allowing you to go in and open up the door. What you do then is that you do have a key that you would then go in and bring this key in with you when you are in the safety area. You can see right now with the key taken out of the switch, I cannot close the door completely. 
So once I'm done working inside the machine, I will then come back out. I'll reinsert the, the key into the position of the switch. Then that will allow me to come in and close the door. And then I could go over and restart the system and allow it to run. With the best safety technologies in the industry, you can protect their most valuable asset, your employees. You can also protect the integrity of your product from damage, damage to the machinery, and litigation costs. Our solutions protect your people while preserving your productivity. And not only do we provide a wide range of safety products and technology solutions, but we also provide safety services to help customers determine the best way to safely guard and monitor the safety of their systems and workers. Omron's Advanced Safety Services is comprised of three main categories, safety education, machine assessment, and remediation services. With over 35 years of experience in the industrial machine safety, we are a leading resource of machine safeguarding services. Omron offers a bundle of services that enable OEMs and manufacturers to understand the safety requirements with our machine safety training. Avoid machine safety hazards in the design with our machine safety consulting and reduce the legacy risks with lockout tagout services, arc flash assessment, risk assessment, and safety solutions retrofit and remediations. We have a safety product portfolio specially designed for the food and beverage packaging industry, including IP69K products and a variety of safety controllers to manage individual machines to large machines. In addition, we have a safety services team that is highly experienced in the industry as well. Omron is unique because of its vast offering in safety products as well as the ability to offer, suggest, and train how to safely guard systems. With over 25,000 machines made safe in 48 countries and 10% of the TUV Rhineland functional safety engineers in the Americas working for us, Omron can provide everything needed in order to protect your team and factory from operational hazards. If you'd like to learn more about Omron safety technologies, solutions, and services, please visit our website at automation.omron.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it was helpful.